Hey y'all. So today I want to talk about animal adaptations. Last time I just talked about the plants and I did have Turk Turk in my lap, but now I wanted to talk to you about animals. So animals have behavioral adaptations and the physical or structural adaptations. Behavior adaptations are certain types of activities an animal performs to help them survive or reproduce. And that's called meeting a life need. If it's a behavior, it's an action. It's how they act. Think of it like a verb. It's actually going to show action. When an animal shows action, they are doing something. It's their behavior. Some examples are hibernation and migration. Bears hibernate, birds migrate. They need to do this to meet a life need. Other behavioral adaptations are spiders spinning a web, chipmunks collecting and storing nuts for the winter, possums playing dead to confuse their predators. When a bird flies from one place to another, Maybe they do it to escape a predator. It's not always just to migrate south. So when they're doing that, they're doing that for survival as well. Now, predators. I said predators. When I think of predators, I think of these animals' eyes. Eyes on the front, ready to hunt. Eyes on the side, go run and hide. Predators have their eyes on the front of their head so they can see their prey and they're ready to attack. Now, preys are going to have their eyes on the side of their head so they can see the predators coming. That's to meet a life need. That's for survival. Now, structural adaptations are the way the animal is actually built. They have the structure when they are born. Think of it as a noun. Teeth, beaks, feet, claws, tails. Here are some examples of structures and their functions. Some animals have hooves and that is going to help them walk and keep their balance. Some animals have webbed feet. Those are going to help the aquatic or the water animals swim and move in water. Feathers. Feathers help keep birds warm and help them fly. Tails. Some animals have longer tails. It helps them balance or it can act as a fifth arm. Come check out some. That was a behavioral adaptation that Mr. T had and he's my male turkey. This right here is my female turkey. Now if you feel their feathers, they are really fine. they're really soft but if, if you look at her head right here let me bring my laptop over here she's getting nervous because mr. T's around look at her beak look how sharp that thing looks her eyes are on the side so she's ready to run and hide if there's a predator she looks a little bit sleepy right now her nose is on the side you see her tongue and how she's breathing now when she is really nervous or in a stage of fright, this whole part of her neck will turn red, bright red, about as red as my chair. But she's really calm right now, so it's not so red. And I wanna see if we can look at her feet. Guys, these claws are sharp. Think about why they have sharp claws. This is a structural adaptation. She was born with these claws. And I mean, guys, they're strong, they're sharp. And they have those to meet a life need. All right, I'm gonna put my turkey down and I got my son holding a chicken for me. So remember Turk, Turk, Turk's beak. Remember how sharp that looks. Okay? I'm going to put her down. She's heavy. Oof. There you go, baby girl. She's going to sit. She, she's going to sit right between my legs. Look, here's Mr. T. Now he's fluffed up. He's a male turkey. 
and he is all fluffed up. That is a behavior. He's letting us know something. He's on alert. Notice. Put you down here. Turk, Turk. She's calm, so her feathers are not fluffed up. Now, if okay, if the, if you look at his nose, let's see where is he. It's going to flap. Okay, if you look at his nose, he's got that long uh, thing hanging down the front. And that's actually called a snood. That is one of his uh, physical or structural adaptations. But at times, that'll shrivel up. Oh, oh, oh. When he's like really turkey. relaxed. Chicken looks like turkey. Okay, thank you, son. So my son got me one of my chickens. This one right here is, goodness, I think this one's Cindy Lou Who. They're all growing up so much on me. So she has her feathers, helps her fly a little bit. Now the feathers itself are a structural adaptation. She's got these beautiful colors on her. Look at her feet. They're similar to Turk Turk. Oh, 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 oh. They're similar to Turk Turk's feet. Okay, they're not webbed, and the claws are really sharp. Look at that beak. Oh, she's turning red. Look, look, look. Oh, oh, oh. She's turning red. You see it? She heard something in the woods, and she stood up quick. But she she's going to calm back down now. Okay, look at the beak. The beak is sharp. Look at their eyes. It's on the side. Go run and hide. This is a prey. Think about when these animals, the chicken and the turkey, come out. It's Mr. T. Come out of their shell. They're going to take their beaks and they're going to poke through. Do you think it's easy or pretty easy for them to poke through their shell? It's a pretty sharp beak. All right. I'm going to put her down. <clears throat> All right, the next one I have. The next one I have is one of my ducks. This is Waddles. He's a fat boy. Actually, it's a girl. That's true. Okay, so look at her feet. They're webbed. Like a frog. It's going to help him, her, ducks swim in water. Look at the beak. You see how round it is? And it's not that that's a structural adaptation. That's how they're born. And that's different from turkeys and chickens. This is going to act as a shovel, okay? So when they're in the water, then they may need to scoop up little organisms that they see that are in the dirt. Okay? Eyes are on the side. Run and hide. So question about the duck. Do you think that this animal takes longer or shorter to break out of their shell than the chicken or the turkey does? It has a round beak. Do you think it's just as sharp? Do you think it could take longer? Another thing I want you to know about the duck before I put waters down is that they have a type of wax oil that is in their skin. It comes out on their feathers. And this allows the water just to ripple off so they don't get soaking wet or so it doesn't weigh them down while they're in the water. All right, let's put, woo, let's put her down. Okay, so now that we saw some of my animals, and I do have some more, but they are out and about, let me know if you guys have any animals, if y'all have seen any structural adaptations that they have, or do your animals do any weird behaviors that you would like to share with us? I would really like to know. All right, y'all take care now.